Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my first guest tonight is the Golden Globe winning actress you know from Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill. She now stars in Bravo's Imposters. From the guy over there. No thanks. Come on, gorgeous. Oblige me. Makes me feel like I'm not drinking alone. Maybe you should find some friends. Let's you and me be friends, huh? What's your name, sweetheart? I bet you got a pretty name. Go back, sit down, mind your own business. What you gonna do if I don't? Please welcome Uma Thurman. They don't leap to their feet for everybody, I'll tell you that. Aw. <laughs> well, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you. Now, I am uh, a big fan of yours, and uh, I, I just have to ask you one question here before we get started. Yes. Because I'm also a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. Ah. And, which is no secret, I found out right before the show, is this true that you turned down the opportunity to play Eowyn in the Lord of the Rings? Uh, yes. I would have played Eowyn in I the know. Lord of the Rings. And you would have been very good. But why? Why? Um, no, well, actually, it was a very long time ago, and I do consider it one of the worst uh, decisions ever made. But I had, I, I had just had my uh, first child, uh -huh. and I just, I don't know, I was a little housebound. <laughs> Didn't want to drag, drag your child down to New Zealand for three years? Yeah, yeah, I think I yeah. was a little bit, uh, a little unknown for me. But it's really definitely a regret. Now, that would have been, you know what, that would have been before uh, you did Kill Bill. Yes, that's right. Totally different sword play, though. Yeah. Totally that's... different sword play. <laughs> now, I, I understand that uh, your dad, Robert Thurman, yeah. right, was uh, a famous Buddhist. He actually was He's one of the... still. He's still Still a famous with us. Buddhist. Okay. Still with us. <laughs> still a Buddhist. It's working for and him. He was actually a Buddhist, uh, a first American Tibetan Buddhist uh, priest. Is this true? Monk, yes. Monk, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What, what does a, a, a Tibetan Buddhist monk uh, do? What do they do? Uh, well, they learn Tibetan and um, they uh, give, make vows, which he broke, you know, monastic vows. Like vows of celibacy? Of course. Hence, Uma Thurman is here. Yes. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he broke the vows. Did you, did he, what was it like growing up with a, a dad who was a Tibetan Buddhist? Was it like, clean your room, I don't care, life is suffering? What uh, do you? Yes. yes. And then you had to transcend that. You had to transcend yes, the suffering of yes, cleaning yes, your room? Yes, yes, Did you speak Tibetan as No, a I don't. He did. He, he does. Um, yeah? Uh, yes, and Sanskrit. And he didn't, like, make you learn anything at all? Like, your ABCs or one, two, threes? Tashi Dale. Um, <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. Um, actually, yeah, there was one uh, Tibetan doctor that used to stay with us all the time, and he, he was a vicious backgammon player. Um, mm -hmm. And so I learned to count to six very well, which I forgot. Wow. But um, <laughs> because I've he was heard, cheating all I've the time. I've never heard the word vicious and <laughs> Buddhist in the same sentence. A, a vicious Buddhist backgammon player. No, you're uh, quite famously uh, one of Tarantino's uh, great muses, and um, uh, Kill Bill, uh, you know, of volumes one and two, are an incredible a series of movies. Thank you. Did did you if right now? How old are your kids? Can I ask how old are your kids? I have three. I have an 18-year-old and a 15-year-old and a four-and-a-half and three-quarters, she calls herself. Of course. It's important. <laughs> that age. At what age did you allow your kids to watch Kill Bill? Um, was, I waited as long as possible. Okay. Um, but uh, I think it was, like, maybe four years ago. Yeah? Yeah. 
were they they're like, Mom, you're a badass, or Mom, we were worried about you? I, someone asked me about that, and, and, and then my son was, he was like, Mom, it hurt. <laughs> um, like when they shot my mother in the chest, when they nailed her in the coffin. I was like, okay, I guess it was real good that I waited as long as possible. Yeah, uh, yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, understand that. It was, I, uh, I, I tried to keep my kids from watching my old show for as long as I could. Really? Yeah, I did, because yeah. I didn't want them, like, I used my own name, and there I am saying things I didn't mean with a straight face, and mm. I didn't want them to, like, See me as like purely ironic, you know. So I would be putting them in bed and go like, "I love you," and they'd go, "I get it, Dad." I get it's very it. Dad. Dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I understand wanting to keep your kids away from your work. Yeah. Um, well, it's nice just to be yeah. your the parent at home. Yeah. I I'm jealous of 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 actors. I dabbled with acting when I was younger, but I'm jealous of real actors or movie stars who you get so in intensively involved, like so immersed in the project you're working on. Um, like, if do you still have sword skills? Like, if 88 maniacs attacked us right now, <laughs> how many of them could you take out to protect me? Well, I'd probably do a better job than most people in okay. the room. Okay. How much? Like, well, first of all, I know exactly where the exits are. <laughs> so I'm on my own. What is uh, like? What kind of training do you have to do for uh, to like? Oh, back then. Sword training, yeah. Back then, it was it was months and months and months of training. Really? Yeah, it was good for me though. It was really good for me. I was always a bit of a klutz. They kind of tuned me up a little bit. Really? Yeah. You do not seem like a klutz I at all. I was always very klutzy. They tuned me up. You know, the best thing for you is to learn new things all the time. Well, what's is that? Was that your favorite thing that you've learned? You know, in your sort of in the immersive world of being a movie star, or is there something that uh, stuck with you that's more enjoyable than that? Uh, more enjoyable than pretending to kill people? Yeah. <laughs> um, well. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, hmm, oh, my, yeah, hard to imagine. Definitely easier than the makeout scenes. I gotta tell you. you know? Oh really? <laughs> like a like a love scene is harder than. Yeah, there's uh, more distance between you and the other person. You know. <laughs> It's much cleaner business. Oh, that's not. It's much less personal. <laughs> you don't have to clear the set. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Imposters is the new series on Bravo. Yes. Who is Lenny Cohen, and where'd the role come from? Um, Lenny Cohen is is a, is the heavy. You saw her just break someone's arm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, she didn't she's, chop her head off. She's just. the no, 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 no knives. Um, she's the enforcer for the for the mysterious bad guy of Imposters. It's a it's a kind of fun black comedy about uh, scammers and hustlers and con artists. Yeah. Actors are con artists, aren't they, in some way? <laughs> On a good day. On a good day. What's a bad day? <laughs> bad day is a bad con artist. <laughs> you get caught. Yes. Um, well, uh, are you an enforcer like Lenny is in real life? Like, do you are you are you a heavy around the house? Not, you're like, not your particularly. Like your vegetables, or I'll break your elbow, or anything like no, that. No, no. There, there's this, there's there's testimony about how I am not. <laughs> you're a softy. Yeah, I'm a yes mom. You're a yes mom. Yeah, let's say fair. Are, Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Did you have that kind of upbringing as well? Were you kind of like a free-range chicken? Because uh, I was. Because I was were? the last of the youngest of eleven kids, and my mom's like, ten fingers, ten toes, you're good. Go play." That so, was so you were free. No, totally, so totally. No wonder you're I was so totally smart. Free range. Free yeah, range. I was just allowed to you know, do whatever I wanted. Go off in the woods. Um, I think there was a mix. I, I was in the middle. So I had a lot of responsibility. In the middle of how many? Uh, well, in the middle of five or four, depending on, on, on where you started to count. <laughs> I have a half-sister. I understand. Who I love, I who I didn't get to grow up with. Okay. But, so I, but I don't like to di exclude her. Yeah, I have full brothers and sisters I didn't get to grow up with. Because, <laughs> because they were gone. Exactly, they were gone. So yeah. you're the middle of the five? I am in the middle, yes. So is that is that why you think you went into the arts? Because middle children, often artists are like troubled creatures, and middle children are often called the troubled child. They you are. are, yes. You're a troubled person, Uma Thurman. Um, not right now. No? <laughs> no. No, because the acting helps, doesn't it? It, um, acting does help, actually. Creativity helps. Yeah, I, I find that the only times I've gone insane in my life, and I mean, like, medicated, sleep all day insane, <laughs> are when I didn't have a chance to do this. Like, when, if you take when me you away from this... couldn't work. Well, I couldn't work, that's what drives me crazy. Well, that, that, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. You, you ever had that? You gotta get it out. You just yeah. gotta, like, you know, get it off your chest. Keep going. Back at you. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Imposters airs Tuesdays on Bravo. Uma Thurman, everybody. We'll be right back with Jason Jones. Stick around.